Hey, it's CJ Train here, and I'm going to show you how to operate the TrainCraft mod. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to operate each of the different types of trains, the electric, diesel, and steam. First, we'll start with the steam engine. So, to get the steam engine, you go to your inventory, um, click the arrow, click on the train, and look for any steam train you want. So let's get the small steam locomotive. And then we put that on the track. So before you get in the train, you'll need to go back to your inventory and get some coal. Get about 10 coal, that's good. And then get some buckets of water. Um, uh, I think three will do. And then let's get in the train. Okay, so it says add water. And you press the R key on the keyboard. And the locomotive control, the place where you put in the controls for the train. You put in the bucket right here. Okay. And when you put the bucket in it leaves an empty one there. So we filled it up with water. Now we filled up with the coal. Mm -hmm. So it will heat up and then you can go faster. So exit that out, escape, and then you're set. And press the forward key arrow, or W, to move the train. And then it'll gradually speed up. So that is how you operate the steam locomotive. Now I'm going to show you how to operate a diesel locomotive. Diesel locomotives and electric motor lo locomotives are similar, but you have to give them different fuel to operate. And for a diesel engine, obviously you give it diesel. So now let's go get the engine. So you p go to the inventory and then go to the train craft. Um, supplies and let's get a diesel train so we have the shunter the CHME whatever that is why don't we get the GP40 Alaska Railroad okay and then for the fuel you get a diesel canister so, grab a few of those, 10, and you don't need any water like in the steam train. So, we place it on the track. Okay, there's our locomotive. Okay, so right click on it, and then go R. Put the fuel in here, and it fills up, and then escape, and then, okay, and then push the forward arrow, or the W key, and the train will move. And that is how you operate a diesel locomotive. So now I'm going to show you how to operate an electric train, or which includes the high-speed trains. So let's just grab the, let's see, which simple one should I do? Why don't we grab the EU07? Here we go. 
And this time, for the fuel, you're going to get red stones. So, oops, let me change it. No, not weather. Set time zero. What? Oh, it's time set zero. Sorry about that. Now, let's place the train on the track. I want the train to go. Okay. Train. So, I think we want to... Okay, now let's get in the train. Hold on, we gotta get closer. Wait, that's the wrong end. Okay, so now we're in the electric locomotive. Now go R again and put the redstone into the fuel spot. And you see the power goes up. And now move the train just like you did in any other locomotive. There we go. And it's moving. So, see, there I am. Why am I going backwards? And that is how you do the electric locomotive. The high speed locomotive is exactly the same. And the train arrives at the station. Next up, I'm going to show you how to connect a freight or passenger car to your train. So here we still have the EO07 locomotive, and now to attach a car you of course get the car and then you have to get the coupler or here it's called a stake maybe that's a missed stake but and so say we'll just take a freight wagon wait what is it doing oh we take the freight wagon and then we get the stake or a coupler it should be. Let's pick up this freight car. Maybe we use two freight cars. Okay, so that's the front of the train. So you put the car, let's say, about here. Whoops. Oh I hate when that happens. Okay, let's get in the train and pull it forward, get it out of that. Sorry about this. I hate the train. Okay, now we stop. Stop. Get out. Okay, there we go. So now, take the coupler, the stake, and it will say attaching mode for the engine. I don't know what the number means, but it's just attaching the car. And then we click on this car, which will get it ready to couple and then you push it together and it will say attached and then it is attached and whoa what is it doing okay so now let's get the look move oh now we don't need that anymore so we go in the And now we see the car is attached. And let's speed up a bit. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I think I need to put in more fuel. So let's go get some redstone. Let's see, about eight should do. And let's go R and fill her up. Why it's not going faster? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. It was just a glitch. And the car follows behind. And there you have it. How to operate train craft locomotives and how to connect a car to them. The same goes for the passenger car and the freight car.
Thanks for watching. Bye.